Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a great day and really looking forward to sharing with you today about the all new Brooks Levitate 2 shoe. I had the original Levitate shoe and I'll put a link to my video that I did on that shoe and talking about the technology. I'm going to spend more today just talking about my experience, the very short experience that I've had with the shoes and why I won't be keeping them. And I will be blaming this shoe, probably the Glycerin 16 shoe, because it's been so, so comfortable. Just came back from Israel, wore them there all the time. I've been very active wearing them at the gym and also at work. I wear them every day, just getting a lot of great use out of them. So I think it set some high, high expectations. So before I tell you why I am going to be uh, returning them, uh, let me just share with you uh, some information. I will put a link to this for the men's and women's so you can read what other people have to say about it and, of course, order it. And there's probably not a whole lot of reviews out there on them yet, but I know that there will be. And I know that the Levitate has been so popular, uh, and I'm sure that these will be very popular as well. Uh, the upper is uh, is what's really... Uh, very different this year. So uh, as far as the specs, it's a neutral shoe. It's an eight millimeter midsole drop. The weight of these now, I uh, I think on the Glycerin 16s, I also went to, well, these are a 12 2E. I had to go to a 12 and a half 2E because they don't come in a wider shoe. So that helped. And I will say going from the original Le uh, Levitate to the Levitate 2, Seems like there's more room in the toe box, but also having to go longer. But because I went longer, it just felt too long and maybe a little bit clunkier and also affected uh, my ankle area a little bit as well. But let me go ahead and put it on the scale. And I think I had weighed it before, which was about 12.5 12, 12 ounces, 12, uh, actually 12.8 ounces. So this is, again, a 12.5 2E, 12.8 ounces. Kind of a heavy shoe. So uh, so that is on the uh, weight. Now, it's a medium uh, to high arch. I do have my own insoles, so I have uh, custom insoles that uh, provide the right arch support. It's a energized, experienced type. So what's new? The Achilles Guard soft foam wrapped in faux suede protects the Achilles tendon. So they've done a, a real nice uh, job there. It, it It is very cushioned. Uh, in the back there. This is kind of interesting that they added this. Uh, probably, you know, yeah, sure, they probably can, you know, go away with it. Uh, it was bothering me. It wasn't bothering me a lot. It was bothering me a bit where it was grabbing me around the ankle, but uh, certainly a different look. It almost looks like it has this sock on top. But back here, very nicely done as far as the, uh, the cushioning. Uh, and it goes to about halfway on the back of the shoe, where you feel that, um, where it's a little bit more cushioned. The next up is the the soft and stretchy fit net heel collar wrap, and that is what I was just talking about. So you can see it's it's a stretchy collar. Again, to me, it almost looks like it has a sock on top. It has the integrated knit eye stay for adjustable fit and crystal rubber outsole. So. The tongue seemed to uh, stay well. It ties into the shoe, so you shouldn't have uh, issues that I would be aware that, you know, it's going to move around. Again, I haven't worn them too long, but enough uh, for me to decide uh, that the shoes are not going to be for me again, thanks to the Glycerin 16s. But uh, they, they, they have done a nice job. This is kind of interesting how they've done the uh, shoelace uh, with this... Uh, this this top area here so i guess they try to make it a little bit cooler something very different a whole new look and then of course the levitate going down the tongue so the the base uh the sole of the, of the shoe in the technology uh, is pretty much the same that i'm aware of i do like the uh, arrow pointing up uh there's a lot about the rebound and the energy the shoe is supposed to give for you so here's where I'm at with the shoe. Unfortunately, um, again, the Glycerin 16s were so comfortable in walking. And when I got these in the store, they uh, and that's why I like to try them at home, they, they felt okay. They felt a little bit more uh, firmer, but maybe 
Um, I, you know, didn't get to wear them too long in the store. So as I started walking around my carpet here at home, I was like, oh, man, they're not just not feeling the, the pop that I would hope for. And I, you know, it's been a while since I had the Levitate and I ended up going to the Glycerin 15 because of that wider toe box. And uh, so I had forgotten, you know, the feel. So I brought them to my office this morning, started walking around in them. Uh, and I just couldn't find that they were comfortable when walking my steps. I ran a little bit uh, in the office, just, you know, back and forth on the floor. And I just found it was just like thud, 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 thud. So I did uh, go, I go in online, found a blog about what someone was commenting. There was a whole uh, write up there and there were very similar concepts or, or co comments about how I felt with the sole. It's an, ex you know, it's an expensive shoe. Uh, again, you've got the, uh, the Glycerin 16 with, uh, with their technology that they have uh, come out with and they've done a really good job with Brooks there. And unfortunately, the, they just are not worth uh, to spending the money on and uh, you know, not feeling that, that comfort level that I am looking for in a shoe. And you know when you put on a shoe how it would feel and if it meets your expectations. Unfortunately, it didn't meet my expectations, so I'm going to return them. And I think also, uh, if they came out with a wide, perhaps, um, and that, um, although walking with, with the sole and, and, and that, the cushiness to me is a big difference, but also I felt like going to the 12 and a half, too weak because I had to to have more room in the toe box. It made it just too long, and then I had a little bit more room in the toe box, which could also have an effect on my ankle. So that's my, you know, honest, real feel of the shoe. I, I, I do like the upper mesh. It's really nice, very soft. It uh, should be very breathable, and I think for some that may, uh, you know, fit more of a neutral shoe, that might fit better. And if they don't, some people don't like a very cushy shoe. So if that's the case, then you may really like the shoe. And then lastly, you've got the insole. This is the Energize Neutral, the uh, Brooks. I think it says on the back there, uh, nothing nothing new, but um, that's just the uh, Brooks Energize um, Neutral insole and then the bottom cushion. But I find most people today take the uh, standard um, insoles out, get something a little bit better for your feet, provide good arch support. So. Let me know if you have any questions, but again, I'll put a link where you can get more information on the shoe, uh, ask any questions you have, and of, most importantly is order it if it makes sense, and most today uh, places, you can try it at home, and if it doesn't fit, you send it back. So that's what I would recommend doing to see if it meets your expectations. All right, everybody, have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.